Hello, hello, hello. I am the Linux Mensch. Today I'm going to show you how to encrypt a thumb drive and a backup drive. You should always have them encrypted so that if you lose them or they get stolen, the person won't be able to steal your information or have access to it. And as a matter of fact, you should also encrypt your hard drives as well. Now to encrypt a hard drive, you have to do it on installation. You can't do it after the fact. In every Linux distribution, MX Linux, Linux Mint, Manjaro, even the Arch Linux install script gives you the option to encrypt a drive when you're doing installation. And all you got to do is click on the option. But today I'm going to show you how to encrypt a thumb drive. So let's get to it. So today I'm running Arch Linux with the Qtile window manager. And what you want to do is use the GNOME disk utility to encrypt your drive. Now, GNOME disk utility is installed by default in almost probably all Linux distributions. But if for some reason it's not installed on your system, for sure you can go into the software repository within the GUI, or should I say the GUI software repository, and you can download GNOME disks. And if you want to install it in the terminal, this is how you would do it. In Arch Linux, you would do sudo pacman s gnome disks. Hit enter and install it. In a Debian system, you would do sudo, oops, sudo apt install. GNOME disks. Hit enter and install it. But like I said, most Linux distributions install GNOME disks on default. It will already be installed in your system. And if not, you can go into the GUI software repository and click it on and install it. So let's close the terminal. So I'm going to grab a USB thumb drive. Now, one thing you need to know is that when you encrypt this, it's going to format it and encrypt it, which means all the data on here will be lost. So you want to make sure you've copied the data onto another drive. Okay, so I'm going to plug it in. So my thumb drive is now plugged in. And I'm going to open up GNOME Disks. So I'm going to open it up. And this is GNOME Disk. So what I'm going to do is click on this 8 gig thumb drive. Now you have to make sure you click on the right drive. You don't want to format your hard drive or format another thumb drive that may be plugged into your system. So I've clicked on my 8 gig thumb drive. What I'm going to do is go up to this little menu here where it says drive options. It has the three dots. I'm going to click it on and I'm going to format the disk. Now when I format the disk, it's in it will delete everything that's on the disk. So like I said, make sure you have your files backed up. So there's two ways to format. There's the long format or the short format. Now, the long format takes a long time. And I would suggest doing that if you're going to be selling the drive or giving it away. But if you're just doing it for the purpose of which I'm showing you, I would do a quick format. So the quick format is just to erase. And, it, and here's the menu here. You can do overwrite existing data with zeros. That's slow. And that would be for if you're going to give it away. But just click on the quick one. Hit format. And then click on the button. And it's just going to take a second. And it's done. The disk is formatted. Now you're going to hit the plus sign. And this is an 8 gig hard drive. So what you're going to do is click on next. Now there's three options here. You can format it as a Linux disk. Now if you format it as a Linux disk, it will only work in Linux. You won't be able to use it in Windows. If you format it on this one for use with Windows, NTFS, it will only work with Windows. If you format it for this one, for use with all systems, it will work with Windows or Linux. 
Now, I don't know if it will work with Mac, but I do know it will work with Windows and Linux. Now you ask, why would I want to do that? Well, if you wanted to uh, copy some files onto the thumb drive and you wanted to be able to open up those files in a Windows system and in a Linux system, that would be the reason for formatting it this way. Now, when you format it this way, you won't be able to encrypt it. In other words, you won't be able to put a password on it. So the only way to encrypt it and have a password on it with GNOME disk is to format it as a Linux disk. So you're going to format it as a Linux disk. And then, and also when you format it as a Linux disk, even if there's no password on it, a Windows computer won't be able to read the disk. But then you're going to format it. You're going to click on here and put a password on it. And this password is protecting it with Lux. And Lux is a Linux specific encryption program for encrypting hard drives and thumb drives and backup drives. So you're going to click it on. Now we're going to click on next and it's going to ask me for my password. So I'm going to use a simple password, P-A-S-S. -S, and I'm going to confirm it, P-A-S-S. -S. I'm going to click it on and we can see it. And there, there it is. I just used a simple word pass. I'm going to create it. It's just going to take a second. And you can see it's spinning here. That means it's doing its job. It's working. We'll just take a moment. So I'm not going to pause the video. It's almost done. And it's done. And it took a little bit longer than I thought. But this thumb drive is an old thumb drive. It's a number two. It's not a number three. So if it was number three, it would have been faster. Anyhow, it's done. So what I'm going to do is use this button here to power off, and I just powered off. I'm going to unplug my thumb drive and plug it back in. Okay, so I've plugged my thumb drive back in. I'm going to close this, and I'm going to open up my file manager. I'm going to open up uh, PCMan FM, which is the lightweight file manager that I like to use. So as you can see, this is my thumb drive and it's encrypted. You can see here it's encrypted. So I'm going to click it on. Oops, I clicked it too many times. Let's cancel that. I'm going to click it on. It's asking me for a password. I'm going to type in P-A-S-S -S, and I'm going to connect. Now it's unlocked and I'm going to create a file. And I call it text. I'm going to OK it. I'm going to open it. And it's opening with LibreOffice. So I'm going to type in this is a test. I'm just going to format it to make it a little larger. I'm going to bold it. Let's make it a little larger. Here we go. And I'm going to save the file. And I'm going to save it as a LibreOffice Word document. And there we go. And close that. I'm going to close that. And let's just open it up again. Make sure it's working. There it is. So I'm going to close it. Now let's say I want to leave the thumb drive plugged in. But I don't want anyone to have access to it. So I want to leave it plugged in, but I want to lock it. Because I'm going to be away from my computer for a while, but I don't feel like I'm plugging it. So what I could do is go into GNOME Disks, click it on, and I'm going to click on the lock. And as you can see, it says lock selected encrypted partition. So I'm going to lock it. So now the disk is locked, and you can see here it's locked. Can't highlight it, <laughs> but you can see it's locked. So now you, it's still plugged in, but we can't get into it. Now I can unlock it here in GNOME Disks, or I can go into any file manager and unlock it. I can go into PC Man FM, I can go into Nemo, or I can go into any other file manager that you may be using from Linux and unlock it. And like I said, I can unlock it here. So 
I'm going to go into, I'm going to close this. I'm going to call up Nemo. Nemo is the file manager that comes with Linux Mint. And with the Cinnamon desktop and other Linux distributions. And I'm going to click on Nemo. And there it is. You can see there's the 8 gig drive. It's encrypted. It's asking me for my password. I'm going to pass in there and connect. And there it is. You can open it up. And this is a test. So I'm going to close this. Now what I'm going to do is, let's say I want to change the password. So I'm going to open up GNOME Disks. Now, if your hard drive is encrypted, you can also use GNOME Disk to change the password. So you can use this GNOME Disk utility to change the password of an encrypted hard drive or an encrypted backup drive or an encrypted thumb drive. So I'm going to click this on. I'm going to click on the thumb drive. I'm going to click on this utility button and it brings up a list. Click on change password. Now the other thing to know is you can only change the password if you know the current password. If you don't know the current password, you won't be able to change the password. So if you lose your password it, or forget it, it's not as if you can go in and just change the password. And that's another thing to know. And this applies to whether your hard drive is encrypted or it's a thumb drive or a backup drive. If you forget your password, you'll never be able to access your information. Now, the drive won't be lost, regardless of whether it be a hard drive or a backup drive or a thumb drive. You can always reformat it and still use it so you won't have to throw out the drive. But if you do forget your password or you lose the password, you won't be able to access any information on it. And if you format it, it's going to be anything that was on there is going to be deleted. So anyways, enough talk. Let's type in my password is P-A-S-S. -S. I'm going to tab to the next one. Now I'm going to make the new password password. So before it was pass. Let's just show the, the passphrases. So there's the pass. There's my old password is pass. I'm going to make it password. Password. And I'm going to change. See the circle going around here? It's spinning. It's just changing the password on the encrypted thumb drive. And there it is. Now I'm going to lock it. So now it's locked. So now I'm going to go into PC Man FM. And you can see it's encrypted. It's asking me for a password. I'm going to type in the old password. See, it failed. It didn't open it. I'm going to click it on again and I'm going to type in the new password. I'm going to connect. There it is. And it opened up my file. So I'm going to close that. I'm going to close this. I'm going to open up GNOME Disks again. And of course, you don't have to use a file manager to unlock it. You can also unlock it in GNOME Disk. So let's click it on. Let's lock it. Okay, so right here it tells you it's a Lux encryption. This is my 8 gig thumb drive. Lux encryption, and it's locked. Now I'm going to open it. And you can put your password in here. P-A-S-S-W-O-R-D. And this gives you the option to even show it to make sure that you typed in the right password. Unlock it. And now it's unlocked. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to lock it. And you can see here it's locked. And I'm going to power off. I'm going to click on this button and this will power off the disk. And now the disk is powered off. So in this video, I showed you how to encrypt a thumb drive 
and the backup drive, the easy way using GNOME Disk Utility. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. I am Linux Mensch.